And so let's have a quick look at uh, how this was done in Turbo Design 1. So basically you start by importing the impeller file which could be from our mainline port Turbo Design 3 and all these specifications here have already been filled in from the input file and we can also see the meridional shape which again comes from the mainline port along with the 2D grid which is automatically created and can be adjusted using the options here. We support different types of blade thicknesses such as normal and tangential and for type we have simple constant as well as more complex distributions like uh, flexible control points or you can also import your own custom thickness profiles at the hub and shroud and blockage is something we use only in case of exceptionally non-uniform flows so we can skip that for now next we specify the blade loading which is uh, the fluid dynamic inputs and uh, this is actually the most important parameter for inverse design method and here we first specify the span wise rvt star which is the soil distribution from hub to tip at the leading and trailing edges of the blade row. And the distribution can even be forced vortex, which means there is a variation from hub to shroud. And then for the blade loading, you can very easily make your blade fore loaded or up loaded like this. And then the last important parameter is the stacking condition. And so at any streamwise location, which is zero or leading edge in this case, you can lean the blade and influence the 3D pressure field even further, but uh, we can continue with zero or radial stacking at the leading edge for now. And then all that's left is to run the solver and then you get the first blade design in a matter of seconds. And then you can create a 3D plot to check the impeller geometry first, where uh, you can also visualize contours of any inviscid solution result. And after which you can also create a 2D plot to study, let's say the surface mark number or static pressure at the different spanwise locations. And finally, you have these uh, different flow and geometric performance parameters available to evaluate your design and to compare with other designs. And then under this UDP section, you can also use Python scripts to develop your own specific parameters. And so once the initial rotor design is ready, we can proceed to the rapid optimization methodology, 